It used to be that your laptop was the only piece of internet connected tech in your home, but now everything from coffee machines to light bulbs are going online, letting you control them with an app on your phone even when you're not in the house. Smart tech is supposed to make your life easier, but if you've got a different app for every single device in your home, it will have the opposite effect. That's where smart hubs come in. They give you control over your smart tech from one dedicated app. What you'll be able to control depends on which hub you have. This one from Samsung works with devices from several different manufacturers, while this one from Panasonic will only work with certain Panasonic devices. If you have some smart tech already, then check that the hub you want to buy is compatible. The app is one of the most important aspects of a smart hub. It's how you'll be controlling your devices, so it can't be awkward to use or difficult to set up. Controlling a device with your smart hub app should give you the same functions as if you were using the dedicated app. In fact, a good smart hub should give you access to more by controlling multiple devices at once. Some smart hubs let you set up scenarios where one smart device triggers another. Walking through the front door past your motion sensor will let your smart light bulb know that it's time to turn on, or even tell your kettle to start boiling water for a brew. Some smart hubs, like the Amazon Echo and Google Home, let you control your tech with your voice. Rather than opening an app on your phone, you can instead say what you want them to do. Switching on a bulb is now as easy as saying, OK Google, switch on my living room lights. Our in-depth tests look at how easy smart hubs are to set up, how secure they are, and how simple the apps are to use. Which members can log in now to see all our smart hub reviews. And if you're not already a member, take a trial to get instant access.